Hi guys, welcome to Xperia Gamer, giving you the latest updates, news and reviews as always for Sony Ericsson's Xperia Play. This is the September review edition and I'm not going to lie to you, we've struggled to handpick the best of the new releases to show in this video clip for you because there's just been so many games released. Um, first up is Electronic Arts with Dead Space, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, We've also seen a few little indie titles such as Jumpy Free, if you remember last time I showed you Meganoid. It's by the same developer, it's an absolute great little game. Then there's the long-awaited exclusive of Minecraft Pocket Edition. We then have a brand new release which is the arcade classic R-Type. Reckless Getaway is a huge title um, and as it, you know, it, it just looks and feels amazing but I'll show you that in a second. There's a few other little indie titles too, which for some reason don't seem to appear in the launcher. Uh, Pew Pew 2, a massive hit for the Android platform, and it's now Xperia Play optimized. And They Need to Be Fed, which is a more cutesy type uh, puzzle game. And we've even seen a couple of new releases on the PlayStation Pocket front. So this includes my classic choice of the PlayStation 1 Wipeout, which... I do not remember being as hard as it is, but nonetheless, an amazing game. So, let's get started. So first up, we have Dead Space by Electronic Arts. The reason why this game is going first is because it is awesome. I am a little guilty of not playing the console titles, so I don't know how uh, good it is compared to those, but as a game by itself, it looks great. It sounds superb, which is why it recommends you plug in your headphones to play the game. And it feels fantastic too. The controls have been programmed ever so well. Uh, it's very smooth and responsive to play with the uh, touch analog pads on the Xperia Play. So, um, it's a kind of uh, sci-fi horror type game. It's very jumpy. These uh, these monsters come out of nowhere. Uh, they kind of get you. Um, it's very kind of, it's kind of like a a sci-fi Resident Evil, um, it, you know, in space. Uh, you've got loads of cool weapons to choose from. You've got the plasma gun. You've got some wicked cool little chainsaw type thing that spits out spinning discs. Um, as you can see, I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. Um, you know, it's it's a great game. It really is. And I've, I've been engrossed into it up until now. Um, this is how far I've got to. I'm looking forward to getting to the next steps. And, uh, and I highly recommend this game for for anyone who's into uh, shoot 'em ups, into space games, uh, well, into games full stop, really. I know that everyone who's seen seen this game running on the Xperia Play have been incredibly impressed. So, has to be said, this is an essential purchase for any Xperia Play customer. And hats off to EA because they've actually done a great job. I'm really, really impressed. So it's, down, it's downloadable for five pounds, but as I as I've said before in previous videos, um, it is not through the Xperia Play launcher, which to me uh, is a criticism on EA's front. So next up, we have another title from Electronic Arts. This is the second release in Xperia Play in the Need for Speed franchise. This is Hot Pursuit. I I was had a lot of. Uh, expectations for this game because uh, I was a big fan of Shift. I thought that Shift was a really good game graphically, um, audio wise it, it was it was great and it, it just felt like a racing simulator should. So this isn't so much a simulator, this is more of an arcade type game. Um, taking on the role that you can either be the cops or the, uh, the bad guys who are getting away. It's a little repetitive. Um, and I hate to sound really negative towards it, but it is, you know. Um, you, as soon as you defeat one, there's another one right around the corner. And, you know, there's nothing harder about them. You know, they haven't got more severe weapons or anything like that. They just uh, are waiting around the corner. And most of the levels are very, very samey. Um, again, apologise if I'm sounding very negative. But there's other little bits as well, like the controls don't feel like a PlayStation control optimized game should. So all the little boosters and everything else are done on the D-pad, but you're using the D-pad to, to steer. And as you can see there, I'm struggling a little bit because uh, I'm, uh, I want to hit the nitros, but also I've got to steer at the same time. You know, there's all these 
symbol buttons here that could have been used for that. And it's the same with the accelerator. It's an auto accelerator uh, a title, which, you know, you'd expect on a normal smartphone. But you've got all these buttons to accelerate. You can turn it off, but as a standard, it should, it should be using the PlayStation buttons. It does look good, it has to be said, and sound-wise too. But... I just feel it's a little bit disappointing. It should be a little bit more polished like Need for Speed Shift or, or even Dead Space, which is recent as well. So, sorry EA, sorry to be negative. So next we have another arcade racer title. This is Reckless Getaway. We have two game modes. We have Getaway and Reckless. I'll show you Reckless in a minute, but I'll give you a little crash course in Getaway first. Now, I am a big fan of this game, actually. I think... It's incredibly well done. Not trying to be a, a big console title with perfect high definition graphics at all. Um, you know, you've got cartoony type graphics and uh, it works incredibly well. The gameplay is fantastic as you can see. Um, as you can see here, flying all over the place. I picked up a speed booster. Um, you know, there's plenty to do in this game, which is why you're not going to get bored quickly at all. Um, the idea of the game, obviously, is to get away from the cops. You're, you're, you've just robbed a bank. You're the getaway driver. Uh, and obviously, you've got to cause as much destruction as possible. Get out the way. Collect up the coins. Get the boost. It's so much fun. And the better you do on each level, you'll see up in the top corner that you get stars awarded. Now, we all know how addictive it can be to make sure we get all four stars for every level. And... Um, Without giving too much away, that is very hard to get. I've, I've tried now to get full, four stars on some levels and failed miserably. It's great fun. This is, this is a great game. An absolute essential buy for Xperia Play customers. And it's only two quid. Or just under two quid. So that's the getaway mode. <clears throat> for a bit of unadulterated fun there is the reckless mode. Now, the same levels, but you're taking on the role of a lorry driver. And again, you've got the four stars to get, but your one purpose is just to destroy everything in your path. Um, hopefully not too many innocent pedestrians, but more so kind of the uh, police that are chasing you. You still get the power-up, so you get these uh, cool little kind of like pulse... Pulse uh, bombs which uh, send everything around you flying, like all the cop cars and stuff like that. You can still jump off stuff and, you know. I, I, I'm sorry to be so positive about this and negative about others, but this is just so much fun. It's great um, and it's definitely value for money. Massive fan. Polar Bit, you've done incredibly well with this title. I almost feel that, you know, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit should have had a lot of the functionality that this game did. I don't know why, I don't know what the reasons are. However, I would much rather download this if I had to choose between the two again. So there we are, an essential purchase for any Xperia Play customer. So next on the list for you is Arcade Classic Space Shooter R-Type. Now I remember this game from the Super Nintendo days and it is so much uh, fun to have on the go now. Um, it is new to Android and straight away it is Xperia Play optimized which uh, do you know what more than anything is great because it just goes to show you that developers do believe in the Xperia Play and the potential it offers uh, gamers out there so for a massive title like this to get the Xperia Play optimization is, uh, is a great shout and I'm very very happy indeed. So for those of you younger people that definitely don't remember this game um, it is one you're going to find on the arcade systems. Um, I, I'm even myself, I'm too young to remember it on the arcade. But uh, as said, on the Game Boy, on the Super Nintendo, I played this game very fondly for a long, long time. There's loads to do. There's, I mean, this is the first level, and already you can see it gets a little bit crazy. There's loads of baddies and stuff. So rest assured, if you're on an easy game, uh, don't play this. <laughs> it's very, very, very tough indeed. There's plenty of power-ups to be had, so your weapons get better and better, naturally. Um, so here's another power-up. Uh, just get that. And then there's another one as well. So, um, 
even in a short space of time, it gets very, very busy with all of the weapons, all of the baddies. Um, it is very hard. I'm not going to lie to you. This game is very hard. But incredibly enjoyable, and I'm ever so happy that it's now on Xperia Play. I would say it's an essential download, but if you're not um, used to the game or you've not played it before really, then you might be like, well, this just looks retro. But that's what it is. This is a retro game that is now available for the Xperia Play. And I'm very happy too. Thank you guys for bringing our type to Xperia Play. So moving now to the lighter side of the Xperia Play. Um, they Need to Be Fed is a cute little puzzle platformer game. Um, definitely for those that are fans of, should we say, Roboto and Cordy. Uh, they, they, they were fun games to have on the Xperia Play. So you take the role of this little fella here. You've got to... Go around, pick up all the diamonds, and then you've got to feed, obviously, the uh, the monsters at the end. Um, it is a, a fun little game. Uh, it doesn't take that much concentration. So, um, for those who are not so much, should we say, hardcore gamers, uh, it is definitely for you. Um, but it is fun, and and you know what? I find myself playing this. Um, not that I'd classify myself as a hardcore gamer. Bit of a geek, maybe. But um, it's a fun little game to play. Um, it does kill some time. Um, the fun little puzzle aspect of it. You've got to pick up the little bits. Make sure you don't hit the spikes. And of course the way the gravitational shifts work. It does make it a little bit more, more difficult. So a great game all in all. Um, and I guess a game that if you've got um, a young family. Might be one to definitely have on your play. So you can keep them quiet in those long journeys or something when you're driving. Just an example. But I do like this, um, and I'm not saying it's just for kids. Because I enjoy it, and I know a lot of people out there enjoy it too. But a great game to download, and I would recommend it. It's definitely worth a play or two. And finally, to finish up today's review, I'm going to show you a game which I've chosen, Hyperlight. There's been plenty of these sorts of games to choose from, believe me. Um, Pew Pew 2 is a classic Android shooter which has now got Xperia Play optimization. Um, the Pac-Man series have been re-released to Xperia Play. But uh, I've chosen Hyperlight out of those to finish up today with just because it, it's great fun. I've used that word loads in, in uh, this month's edition because there's been some great fun games. Um, so you obviously control with the right analogue. And then you've got the, uh, the shoulder button on the right, which is your boost. And you need to boost through the baddies to obviously destroy them and collect power-ups. So for a 2D shooter, actually, this game looks really, really good. A lot better than a lot of people would, would expect, I guess. Um, and it gets really hard, really quick. You can see that I'm getting... Um, I'm getting... Oh, my shield's gone. I'm getting kind of... Uh, targeted a lot in this there's loads of enemies loads of baddies and you've got to make sure you keep picking up your fuel which are these little droplet squares because uh, without the fuel you can't boost and you can't destroy the enemy so plenty to do here in this game it's definitely a game to pick up and play for 10 minutes while you're uh, while you're going along there isn't so much of a campaign mode just a, a kind of arcade quick pick up and play mode but so much fun I'm highly addicted to this it's a, an essential game if I'm on the train and, uh, and if I'm bored of the other titles I give it a little go as well I have tried playing it without the PlayStation controls and I can tell you now it is impossible game over. so that's about all we got time for in this month's edition of Xperia Gamer Review there's been a huge amount of games released this month. We've seen some big titles. Dead Space, Need for Speed, Reckless Getaway, Minecraft as well, Wipeout, R-Type, loads of them. The game library on Xperia Play is just getting better and better. Now don't forget, if there is any games that I have missed, make sure you check out the website, which is coming soon, www.xperiagamer.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.